ตาแนโอเค we have a new uh, camping box coffee box um, whatever you may call it uh, this is the storage box from Shine Crave here is their logo there um, before we start this is not a sponsored video I'm just a fan of the box I really like it <laughs> all right um, I've played with it I've had it for quite some time now maybe a few weeks ago um, and I've played with it and I am actually transferring my bike and brew kit to this box um, the reason being is I may be able to bring a full-size gooseneck kettle with this box because do you remember this box yeah so this box um, yeah I may never be able to bring a full-size gooseneck kettle with this so um, I am transferring my bike and brew kit to this box right here. It's still um, smaller than the Stanley, which I hated. <laughs> because the Stanley was maybe like this tall. Yeah, the Stanley is the Stanley lunchbox. The grandfather's lunchbox is still taller than this one. Maybe around this height. So, yeah. Um, I'm still in the process of I'm still in the process of building the new kit for this one but I I just want to show you so right now I have my of course the Comandante X25 Trailmaster here um, and I have here a metal V60 so that it's very durable and more camping um, feels, right? And of course, I have my gas canister. I also have a, um, a thermometer. For the carafe, I've been so in love with brewing coffee in a carafe and then transferring it into a drinking vessel. It's, it's simply about the temperature issue. For this kit, I figured I bring the AeroPress Go because the cup that came with the AeroPress Go is a very nice carafe. Yeah, it pours very good. Okay, I'm gonna show you how it looks like when you pour it. Let's put some water into this. And then here is a cup. So if you look closely, you use the corner of the AeroPress Go and then you use it to pour. Huh? Look! So you can pour fast and you can pour slow. Look how nice that is. So yeah, I've decided I'm gonna use this as a carafe. Plus, um, I always have an AeroPress with me. So, it will depend on the mood <laughs> whatever I want to use on that day but yeah it's a dual purpose um, setup because of course with with camping kits um, especially with with biking setups um, you need to try and conserve as much space as possible so there's that and lastly, I will be able to bring my table here inside. So this is my camping table. So yeah, I'm gonna be able to bring it inside this um, kit as well. So that's a plus. And lastly, I will be bringing a full-size gooseneck kettle for this. Um, I'm gonna put it inside, but it hasn't arrived yet. It's still, it's still in transit. I ordered it um, maybe a week ago and it hasn't arrived yet. So I'm still waiting for that. And when it comes, when it's here, 
I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna show you exactly the layout of the inside is. Wait for that video. I'm gonna show you exactly how I lay out the inside of this box so that I don't know who knows you can you can you can use this as your your car kit or your travel kit it's a it's a nice nifty um, box that you can bring anywhere oh I almost forgot the best part about this box is if you get two you see these tabs here so the tabs here on the side it will enable you to put another box on top and then lock it in place. So I am planning to get another box exactly like this so that I'm, I can show you how to put it on top and then lock it in place and then you can bring it as one unit. Yeah, it's amazing. So yeah, I'm really in love with this um, box but for now, Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye! Oh! Oh! Okay, this way I, can, I will be able to show you how to lock it. And then you can put another box on top of that. There. You can lock it in place. Oh, so imagine you have another box here. I just used the cover for that. 